For years, car designers had dreamed of a high-performance engine which was at the same time light and compact. Whilst research showed that customers wanted an engine which was inexpensive to run and environmentally friendly. In a highly competitive market, the engine must also be economical to manufacture. In short, lean, clean and mean. In 1988, General Motors had no such engine. The challenge for the dedicated team of engineers at the Technical Design Center in Russelheim, Germany, was to design a world-class engine from scratch, then bring it to full production in four short years. It was a new engine, a new engine concept. In Europe, we had never manufactured a V engine before. And uh, the combination of a V6 engine with an L4 uh, engine combined, putting it on the same manufacturing site, was quite new. The most important features that this new plant had to fulfill was the quality of the product must be at the highest possible level. The second thing was that the machines and the equipments must have a high productivity. The third thing was that the flexibility to allow later changes, additional engine variants, and the whole engine family to be set up based on the original design. The Ellesmere port site in the UK had the potential for a lean operation and a suitable building already available. General Motors invested 190 million pounds over the two-year installation period. For maximum efficiency and to reduce materials handling to a minimum, the right layout of the various production lines was vital. At the start of the cylinder headline, a loading robot equipped with a miniature video camera identifies each type of cylinder head. Once on the production line, the first automatic check is immediately carried out to see if the raw part is to specification. Every hour, 90 aluminium heads pass through a complex series of automatic machines. Whilst team members keep a watchful eye on the process. Every cylinder head is pressure tested to assure casting quality. And at the end of each machining operation, the head is cooled so that critical dimensions can be checked. In addition, a sample of cylinder heads is taken off the line for manual overcheck. Quality is built into the machining process itself. For instance, a combined reaming and turning tool ensures that valve seat faces and valve guide bores are concentric. Finally, at the end of the line, a further sample of cylinder heads is given a full dimensional check by a robot measuring machine. Several hundred data points are recorded and then analyzed to check any change of critical parameters. As the cylinder head is assembled, more than 20,000 individual parts are required every hour. Meanwhile, at the other end of the plant, a complex turret head station is programmed to drill 150 different holes in a raw cylinder block every two minutes. 
Throughout the plant, high-precision tools operate at very high speeds, often machining as many as 5,000 pieces before being replaced. Tool wear is continuously monitored. High-quality coolant is vital for the smooth operation of each machine and to extend tool life. The coolant is collected from each machine and carefully analyzed before being recycled. The performance of every machine in the plant is continuously monitored by its own main controller and supplies data to a central computer. Data on tool status and machine measurements is compared with predicted values. The system can then plan maintenance schedules and predict a tool change up to eight hours ahead. Whichever team member changes the tool, it's done in an exact, repeatable way through the use of a standardized operating procedure. 1,800 different tools are used in the engine plant, three identical tools per set. One tool in operation, a second ready for the next tool change, and a third collected in the tool presetting area. Every tool has a unique number and goes through an individual resetting process. High quality crankshafts, camshafts and connecting rods make a great contribution to reducing noise, vibration and wear and tear in the engine. A series of machines ensures a progressively higher level of precision and balance. Automatic feedback enables the grinder to compensate for changes in tool wear, in rough part size and in temperature. Regular manual checks of the inline gauges ensure that the crankshafts continue to be produced within close tolerances. Automatic handling allows rapid and flexible movement of over one million components per year in a random mix of different types. In the finished engine, any friction means a loss of efficiency. Both the crankshaft and the camshaft need to be as smooth as possible. So a series of super finishing machines gives each part a finer and finer polish. The connecting rod line is very compact, with huge savings in investment and running costs. All the machining is carried out on the intact conrod, before the big end is cracked apart in a controlled fracturing procedure. When the crystalline joint is again closed, the two surfaces fit together perfectly giving a longer life to the bearing shells and ultimately to the engine itself. The connecting rods are then graded by weight and balance, so each complete engine only receives a matched set of con rods, giving a quiet, smooth and refined engine performance. Each engine assembled in the V6 plant is unique. As the team starts to assemble the engine, a barcode is generated to match the particular requirements of each customer. This stays with the engine as it's built, stage by stage, along the line. Whilst a computer link makes the right components available where and when they're required. At each assembly station, team members perform their tasks in exactly the same way every time. By using a standard operation procedure, they themselves help to develop. Here, as in the rest of the V6 plant, the close-knit teams are involved in the continuous improvement of the quality and productivity of their own work. You've got some involvement in what's going on as well. You have got some say in the matter. You have got some um, input in what's going on. Every job throughout the plant can be improved uh, bit by bit. And we have a, a suggestion scheme. Even the most smallest thing we don't dismiss. If it fits in with the system, it increases productivity with quality, and therefore we, we know we're on another winner. At each stage of assembly, the engine is tested. 
A leak test ensures the engine has no oil, water or fuel leaks. An end function test checks that the electrical systems are in order. A sample of engines is then run in the hot test for 95 seconds and taken up to 3,500 revs as an additional audit of the quality system. Finally, one example of each type of engine is randomly selected for an exhaustive durability test. Under simulated road conditions, the engine is run continuously for 15 hours in fourth gear at speeds in excess of 130 miles per hour. Whilst fuel consumption, exhaust emissions, power and torque values are measured. At last, and with every possible check completed, the engine is ready to be dispatched. A compact and flexible V6 engine. An engine to power most vehicles in the Vauxhall Opel range. Supplying cylinder heads for the Astra and Frontera and engines for the Cavalier, Calibra, Saab and Omega. An engine to be proud of. And as any member of the V6 team will tell you, the policy of continuous improvement goes on. We put the latest technology, the best processes, into this new facility so that it would be competitive for the next 15 to 20 years.